All right, to Washington now, where regulators will be back on Capitol Hill this morning to testify before the House Financial Services Committee on recent banking failures of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. That's right. Yesterday, they faced a grilling before the Senate Banking Committee. A lot more exciting a lot of times than banking committees are. Among those testifying was the Federal Reserve's Vice Chair, Michael Barr, who told lawmakers that SVB failed to properly manage the risks. This is a textbook case of, of bank mismanagement. Uh, the, the risk the bank face, interest rate risk and liquidity risk, those are bread and butter uh, banking issues. The, the firm was uh, quite aware of those issues. They had been told by regulators. Uh, investors were, were talking about problems with interest rate and liquidity risk. Joining us now to discuss this is NBC News business and data reporter Brian Chung, along with congressional correspondent Julie Serkin. Good morning to both of you, Julie. I will start with you. So look, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle agreed that the banks were mismanaged, but the Republicans also went in especially hard on the regulators, which is really what a lot of this talk in the room was about, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. The top Republican on the committee, Senator Tim Scott, actually said regulators were, quote, asleep at the wheel. Now, Republicans are generally unified against more regulations for the banking industry, which some Democrats, including Scott's counterpart, Sherrod Brown, the chairman of the committee, are calling for. Instead, Republicans are shifting blame on the regulators themselves. You heard Michael Barr there uh, say that the blame was actually on the banks themselves. He said that this was a classic case of mismanagement, but Republicans in the room were saying regulators should have spotted this not only months, but years before these collapses happened. Take a listen to a little bit of that split screen, Sherrod Brown and then Tim Scott afterwards. We must look inside the bank at the bank CEOs, at the Trump era banking regulators who made it their mission again to give Wall Street everything it wants. Regulators have consistently described Silicon Valley as unique and highly idiosyncratic, meaning the warning signs should have been flashing red and SVB should have stood out as what it was. Absolutely a problem child clear as a bill were the warning signs. Now look, Senator Warren on the panel, for example, is one of those calling for more regulations of the banking industry. One thing they did agree on was possibly clawback for some of the executives of the banks. Uh, but at the bottom line here, you know, you heard from other Republican Senator Danes who asked if individuals who are regulators should actually be fired in the wake of all of this. Of course, this just one of several hearings we expect. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.